So what's up YouTube, this is Doug Jenkins back with a technological advancement in studio control since the uh, the birth of such things as the iPad and, and mobile devices as such. These things can become very useful in a studio. Now if you notice over here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scroll over to the first fader. If you notice me grabbing here, that fader is going to follow that fader, which is really cool. Now if you're using something like a Control 24 with this, what is the purpose of that? Is that just for coolness? No, the, the purpose for this is quite simple, especially in my kind of studio. I'm, I'm doing a lot of mixes and I'm doing a lot of mastering. And, and the problem is, though, every once in a while, we'll want, you know, a guy will come over or I'll come over to my own studio and I'll say, you know, I want to lay down a verse. What I can do is actually control Pro Tools from not up front where the controller is. So what that allows me to do, this is a, a software that was, it's actually by Neyrink, N-E-Y-R-I-N-C-K, and it's called V-Control. Now, why is this so useful, and, and would you spend your money on it? If you have an iPad, you know, it's it's less than 100 bucks. I think it's, it's like 50 bucks or something. But what's so cool about it is I have control over everything in this session. I mean, I can work actually just panning, I can do the pan and it'll follow along on the board if you notice that. I can push play on here. I can rewind the track all the way to the back, to the beginning of the track if I'm doing my own vocal takes. I can arm this track. So now there's pretty much we're enabling the track for recording, which is really cool. I mean, when you can do that kind of stuff, it says Pro Tools has got a screen on. Well, absolutely it does. So when you can do this kind of stuff in, in my booth, if you don't have you know, a separate way to get to your, your song. You don't have to keep running back and forth from the booth. So a person that records at home, I'd highly recommend downloading this app because our booth, I'll show you where the booth is. If you go around my room here. In that back room, way back there. Let me, let me walk back there. I'm back here in the booth. So if I take this controller with me, I mean, I know this is this is very simplistic, but I'm showing you what it does and what I could use it for functionality-wise. Is that thing blowing up? It's getting freaking itchy in here. So I can be in the booth and I'll push play. I can push stop. Wow. But no, it's very neat to be able to do that. It's also very neat that it is incorporated with the the uh, Control 24. I couldn't think of what I was trying to trying to say there. But yeah, this is this is what's going on around here. I honestly though, like I'll I'll talk to you from experience. Like I bought this software to really really learn on what they're doing advancement wise as in controllers. And one of the coolest things are, about this is, like, if you don't have the money for something like a Control 24, you can get this for $50. I mean, and you can get an iPad. So, you know, for Christmas, if somebody says, hey, what are you going to use your iPad for? This is a functionality for business. It really helps you out. You know, you can use it for your business. You can use it. To, you can, the only thing that you can't do is some of the stuff that you can do with the controller, like create tracks, but I usually use the mouse for that anyways. You have different editing if you can see, let's get up on this so you can see what this thing does. But you have different record. You can auto input. Um, there's a way to work with your inserts on the on the console. I think that, yeah, so now <clears throat> the problem is when you have the Control 24, the only thing I can work with is volume, play, stop, record, all that good stuff. But that's all I really want to use it for. So think about that. It's really neat. I mean, it's a cool solution. To a, to a weird problem that a lot of people have. And how do I get that off the freaking screen? I don't want that on there. Get it off there. Get it off there. Wow, dude.
Martin's window. Vegan? Well, that's ridiculous, dude. That's ridiculous.